Good morning, thank you so much for joining us for this Refuel devotional. As you all know, if you're part of the Bayside family, we are in the middle of a series right now called Wonder, where we're talking about the wonder of Christmas. One of the difficult things about this season is that because we're so familiar with the story, it doesn't always cause wonder as we read the narrative of Christmas. But one of the things that I've tried to do this year as we've been talking about wonder is simply look through Luke chapter one and find reasons to be awestruck and to know why the Christmas story is awesome. I've come up with several reasons why this season is awesome, but today I wanna talk to you about one of them. Before I introduce what that subject matter is to you, I wanna talk about the time period that we're in when we get to Luke chapter one. When we are introduced to Luke chapter one, the writer Luke, who is a physician and gives a detailed account of not just the Christmas story, but the entire life of Jesus, before that time period, no one has heard anything from God for 400 years. This is known as what theologians call the intertestamental period, the period of time between the Old Testament and the New Testament. For 400 years, God's people have heard nothing from God. There are no prophets, no priests, no kings. There's no one speaking on behalf of God. The people are in essence seemingly lost because they haven't heard anything from God. For 400 years, the people don't have a priest to listen to, to hear the voice of God. They don't have a king to look to, to give them leadership. They don't have a prophet to speak to them, to know where to correct their lives. And they have gone 400 years without hearing anything from God at all. Have you ever called a friend and you anticipate their call back only for them to never call back? This is seemingly the position that the children of Israel find themselves in, silence. Imagine what that would be like for them. But in Luke chapter one, Zachariah and Elizabeth burst onto the scene. And in this moment, this is what we learn about God that should cause us to have wonder during this season. Listen, just because God is silent does not mean that he has not been active. One more time, just because God is silent does not mean that he has not been active. During this 400 year period of time where they hadn't heard anything from God, God had not spoken to them. However, behind the scenes, God was orchestrating the affairs of the earth, preparing for the arrival of Jesus. In all of our lives, there will be times where it feels as if God is silent. It feels as if our situation is not being spoken to. It appears that God is not with us, but the Christmas season reminds us that just because God is silent does not mean that he is absent. In other words, he is working behind the scenes, preparing something for you and all of humanity. Another lesson that is learned in this time period is that God does not forget about his people. Oftentimes, when it feels as if God is silent, we may believe that God has forgotten about us, that he doesn't care about us. But the Christmas narrative demonstrates for us that God does not forget about his people. Perhaps you're in a circumstance today where you're willing, ready to give up. You've been searching and looking for God. You feel like your life is in turmoil. You feel like God does not love you. This lesson, the lesson that we can see in Christmas is that just because God is silent doesn't mean that he is absent and God does not forget about his people. So no matter what you're going through today, my prayer for you is that you would know that you have not been forgotten about God. That when you think about the wonder of Christmas, one of the biggest lessons that you will see is that even when God is silent, he is not absent and he's working on your behalf to work things for your good. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful day.